been doing really well and welcome to this week's sports videos. Last week we did the NFL Top 100, a list that is voted on by the players, and we did numbers 100 all the way to 51. And today we want to be finishing out the list. So starting off with number 50, Baker Mayfield, rookie quarterback for the Browns. I like Baker Mayfield as much as the next guy does. I think he's a great quarterback. I like his personality. I think he played really well, but... I think guys like Matt Ryan were better. So you have Matt Ryan like all the way down. He had 69. I think Baker Mayfield should have been at 69. I think Matt Ryan should have been at 50. Miles Garrett at 49 and Melvin Ingram at 48. I'm going to talk about both at the same time. Because I think both were really good defensive linemen. But I do think Melvin Ingram was better. Ingram had a really good season. I think 48 is a bit too low. I would say maybe like 35. But I'm glad he moved up. I do like Miles Garrett at this spot. That's perfect. Juju Smith-Schuster at 47 for the Steelers. He had a really good year. Um, I like this spot for him. Uh, maybe a bit higher, actually. Um, we'll see. Who is he ranked? Like Keenan Allen was better, and that's the next ranked wide receiver. So I do like this spot for Juju. Patrick Peterson for the Cardinals. Um, the Cardinals were not that great, but Peterson was one of the reasons they were good. I like this for him, 46. Demarcus Lawrence at 45. I'm an Eagles fan. But Lawrence was a game in those Eagle Cowboys games that I just really felt the presence of. I feel like he had a better season than he did last year. So I would have maybe Lawrence around like 37 or so. Okay, I'm not the biggest Big Ben fan. But for me, him at 44 is kind of disrespectful. He led the league in passing yards, even more than Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes had 50 touchdowns, but Big Ben had more yards than that. And I just feel like this is really low for him. I feel like Big Ben should have easily been top 30. Um, so I just don't know why he's like 18 to 44. I know the Steelers are going to make the playoffs and all, but man, Big Ben I think should have been like 30. David Bakhtiari, good placement. Christian McCaffrey. Oh man, I'm a Panthers fan and I really don't like this ranking. Christian McCaffrey is one of the best running backs. He was elusive on the ground. He can do in the passing game. He had such a great season. The fact that he's only at 42, I mean, I mean, I think uh, some people are like, oh, he should have been top 15. I don't know about that, but he should have at least been, I say, top 20. He had 1,098 yards on the ground, seven touchdowns. He had more in the passing game. I just think he should have been easily, I'll say, top 25, fringe top 20. But yeah, Cameron Jordan with the Saints, really underrated player, but. I do like him here, maybe in the 30s, but I don't know. I kind of like this spot for him. Zach Ertz, I think this is perfect. I'm an Eagles fan. They're my favorite team, but I think Ertz was really good. They have for tight ends. They have Travis Kelsey and George Kittle, both ranked higher than Ertz. I think that's perfect. I think this is a perfect spot for Ertz. So, overall, I think these are pretty good rankings. Next up, Akeem Hicks, very underrated play on the Bears defense. You look at, oh, um... Cleo Mack and all these other guys, but Akeem Hicks uh, had a really good season, um, but I don't think he should have been ranked any higher, so I like this. Keenan Allen, 38. He's only three spots better than last year. He had a really nice season. I don't know why he's so um, low. I would have had him at 30, 32. I just think, look at Allen and his, sex in the, his success in the Chargers. He had... Actually, he had some more seasons, but I just felt like he had a bit more impact plays this season. Maybe like 35, but I wouldn't put him in the 20s. Jamal Adams is one of my favorite players. Um, I just love the way he plays. I'm glad he got the recognition all the way to 37. Chris Jones, really good season. I want to say he's top 25. Definitely him, Christian McCaffrey, Matt Ryan are the players on the, off the top of my head. Who I'm like, yeah, they definitely should have been a, a bit higher. Chris Jones, really underrated. Devontae Adams, really good in fantasy, I'll say that. And I like him here. Is he better than Keenan Allen? It, it's close. I think he was more of a target in the red zone than Allen, but I like him. Though. Melvin Gordon, perfect spot for him. I would maybe sw swap him and Christian McCaffrey. Adam Thielen, really great route runner. Glad he's gained the recognition. Um, is he better than Devontae Adams and Keenan Allen? It's really close with him and Allen, but I like Thielen there. He actually had a stretch of like 100-yard games, so maybe I think that's perfect. Jared Goff at 32. Um, I don't like this at all. Um, I think Matt Ryan, Deshaun Watson were better than Jared Goff. I know Goff had great numbers. I'm not denying that, but I think a lot of it had to do with the coach coach Sean McVay, and Goff struggled in the big stage in the Super Bowl. Super Bowl, he didn't play well at all. It's not like 
oh, he played really great, and then the defense slowed him down. No, he did not play good at all, and that's a huge game, so I don't know. I would maybe switch him and Watson. Duran James, one of my favorite players. Um, Safety is one of my favorite positions. That's why I love guys like him and Jamal Adams. I love him at this position at 31. He was a fantastic rookie. Can't wait to see what he does next season. So bring, that brings us 30 to 21. Eddie Jackson, really fantastic player for the Bears. I think he should have been higher a bit, but it's still a good ranking. George Kittle, fantastic tight end, had a breakout season. I think that's perfect. Fletcher Cox, he had a really good season as an Eagles, um, as an Eagles fan. He was really good, and I remember those talking about him maybe being defensive player of the year. I think he should have been top 20. Or even top 15. He had a fantastic season. So definitely kind of disrespected. Jim Ramsey I think is perfect. He was not as good. But still one of the best cornerbacks. Darius Leonard was a really good rookie. Like everyone's saying. He should have made the Pro Bowl. But I'm glad he's getting the respect of his peers. I think in a couple of years. Four years down the line. Darius Leonard is going to be a fantastic player. And this is such a great start for him. Russell Wilson at 25 here. Um, a lot of people. I, I kind of looked into this. And Wilson was kind of identical to how he was last season. And he fell like 14 spots. I don't get why he did. He had a pretty much as great season. The passing guns were not there, but, you know, he still made a lot of great plays. I don't like this spot for him. You know who I think should have been at 25? Aaron Rodgers, but we'll get to that in a second. Luke Keekley, I really love. Um, I think this is a good placement for him. Oda Beckham Jr., I think that is perfect. Same with Stephon Gilmore and Travis Kelsey. I really... I think all these guys are really perfectly ranked. You know, OBJ was really great. He was one of the bright spots for the Giants. Stephon Gilmore was really key in a page of success. Maybe I would have him top 20, but I don't know if he's any better than any of those guys. And Travis Kills, he's the best tight end. I agree. So, really good placements. Now we go 20 through 11. Oh, boy. These are kind of where things get a bit interesting for me. So, Andrew Luck at number 20, I like. He had a really great season. Um, great back to form year. I'm glad he got recognition. Tyreek Hill at 19. You know, he was excellent in that Chiefs um, um, offense. Okay, here's the issue with Zeke Elliott and Saquon Barkley. The players have Alvin Kamara ranked higher than Saquon Barkley and Zeke Elliott. Here's my issue with this. For me, Ezekiel Elliott led the NFL in rushing yards. Therefore, he should be one of the best running backs. I think what should have happened is Zeke should have been 14. Barkley should have been where he is. And then at 18, that should have been Christian McCaffrey. And then maybe Alvin Kamara where Christian McCaffrey was at like the 40s, at 42. So Alvin Kamara would be 42. Then it would be Christian McCaffrey. Then Saquon Barkley. Then um, Ezekiel Elliott here at 14, but I don't know why they have Alvin Kamara, but I think Alvin Kamara is super overrated. Yes, I know he can catch the ball. I know that's important, but I just think Barkley was a rookie. He had a fantastic season with the Giants O-line, which is one of the worst, if not the worst, offensive line in the NFL. I mean, I, I just don't get it. He had 1,307 yards on the ground. He had more yards in the passing game. He had 11 touchdowns. I think that's just fantastic and I think he's really disrespected here I think both of these guys are really just should be ranked a lot higher I don't think Alvin Kamara is better than them anyways with that tangent over Phil Rivers I like this he had 17 he had a great season glad people recognize him I talked about that Bobby Wagner I think he's good at 15 um I think yeah I really like that talk about Alvin Kamara Michael Thomas at 13 so they have him as the fourth best wide receiver I think that is perfect Love it here. J.J. Watt at number 12. Um, he was fantastic. He had a record year. It's funny. People said, oh, J.J. Watt had an off year. But the fact that like Watt's season, well, he was still really good. He had like 16 sacks. The fact that that's considered an off season or like a down year for J.J. Watt is just to show you how fantastic of a player he is. Do I think he's top 10? I think you could have either switched him or Von Miller. Um... But I do think, I, I like where it's at. DeAndre Hopkins, um, he did not drop a single pass. That's all I'll say. He should have been top 10. He was better than Antonio Brown. Is he better than Julio Jones? 
I don't know. I would probably say yes, but the top, top fact that Don, DeAndre Hopkins is not top 10, I, I think he's top 5. I honestly think he's top 5, so not really a fan of what they did to D-Hop or Nuke Hop, Hopkins. So here's 10 through 1. Oh boy, things are going to get very interesting here. So at number 10, Found Mayo I like. I think Julio Jones should have been rated higher than Antonio Brown. Um, Aaron Rodgers at 8. Um, I don't really get this at all. Like, his season was fine, but it wasn't top 10 worthy. And I feel like this is just a case where the players, like, Aaron Rodgers is fantastic, his career it is, but why would you say he's top 10? He's not. I would have easily put guys like maybe Russell Wilson top 10. That's why I put Wilson. Antonio Brown, really good season, but he was not the best wide receiver. Tom Brady at 6, I think, is perfect. He helped in the postseason with the Patriots. His regular season was good. It wasn't amazing, but it was good enough. Now we have top five. Um, for me, um, top five, Todd Gurley. I think this is perfect placement. He was looking like the MVP, and then in the playoffs, he just really didn't play like himself. And you got to include the postseason, so I like that. Um, in my opinion, Patrick Mahomes should have been number one. He had 50 touchdowns, over 5,000 yards. He was the league MVP. Um, that's all I'll say. Cleo Mack, I like at number three. Drew Brees, um, for me, Drew Brees just, he broke all these records, and I like him as a person. He's really nice, but kind of after week 13 with that game against the Cowboys, he really suffered with his stats, and I feel like a lot of people don't overlook that, like, oh, he was fantastic. No, he really kind of dipped off and stuff. And then Aaron Donald at number one. I think Aaron Donald, it, it, for me, number one, I should have been Patrick Mahomes or Aaron Donald. I think Mahomes should have deserved it. I just think that quarterback's a more valuable position. So for me, my if I had to do my top five, and I might do this in a video later, but it would have been Mahomes, Donald, I'd probably say Khalil Mack, DeAndre Hopkins, Todd Gurley, Drew Brees, Julio Jones, J.J. Watt, um, Tom Brady at nine, and then ten, maybe Von Miller, or someone like that. I do think kind of that rank of play should have been oh well this was a really fun list to do i do kind of agree with some of the t stuff in the 20s and 30s but then we kind of get to the top 10 yeah i don't like aaron Rodgers' rank i think i think it should have gone um Bree uh, it should have gone mahomes breeze brady wilson rivers look rogers i think that's how it should have gotten but yeah, it's a very interesting list. There's some things I love, like Cleo Mack at 3, Tom Brady at 6, but there's some of them I don't like. And that's kind of fun of this series. I'm going to know in the comments below what you guys thought. And this is my Tammy Bang I love. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.